Hey friends, what's up? Huckleberry here again. Today seems like a great day to tackle some of the wiring. As you may know, I installed the little KC T34s in my winch uh, maybe a week, 10 days ago, um, but held off on the wiring because I've got some things I, I kind of wanted to make sure I really get done right before I start throwing all the wires together. So today I'm going to focus on uh, getting those D34 KC LEDs wired up. And from what I understand, it's going to be pretty simple with the, uh, with the way that Jeep has wired in the aux buttons in the dash. So I'm looking forward to that. Should be a pretty straightforward install. So here we go. One of the great things about KC is they do a really great job with uh, their wiring and their instructions. Um, so the lights themselves are already mounted up, but basically you got a few zip ties and screws, obviously. You got a switch here, which we're not going to need because we've got the aux switch in the dash. And then you got the wiring harness, which I'm sure we're only going to need part of because part of that is going to go to that switch. And there's the instruction sheet, which is pretty straightforward. So I think this is going to be a pretty easy wire up. All right, so one of the things that I really love that Jeep um, finally thought to do, you know, was adding the switches for us already there so that we don't have to mess with S pods and all that kind of stuff. You know, those are cool and everything, but um, kind of an extra pain in the butt. You don't have to wire everything up. So if you've only got a few accessories, like four, um, these switches are perfect. But what the great thing about it um, is that they have already wired these, run the wires right up to the engine compartment, right next to the battery. So you'll find them right in there, just taped up, kind of coiled up like that. Um, cut that coil out. I mean, you got a good length of wire here to work with. Um, the four wires are right here. I haven't stripped them off yet, but they're all different colors. Uh, there's a guide in your manual, in your owner's manual, that'll tell you which color goes to which switch. Um, so it's a really, really great feature um, that they decided to add on. That, my, uh, my, my Ford F-250 had that feature, and man, let me tell you, when I added the light bars and things like that, it sure made it easy. So um, I'm really happy that they did this. After unwrapping that a little bit, um, you can see the colors on the wires here. So the, the sequence here, at least on mine, uh, and I'm, I'm sure this is gonna be probably the same consistent through the JLs and the JTs, all models, but um, switch number one is this tan wire. Switch number two is green. Switch number three is uh, this kind of reddish orange. I guess you'd call it red. And four is this uh, purple. I would call it purple, but some people are calling it blue. Um, I'm going with the fourth switch for these. I just need the the, uh, the lower current for these lights. I don't need these are these are 30 amp, I believe. These two bigger wires, um, and I believe the smaller ones are 15. So I'm going to use those. And, and number four makes the most sense for me um, for these particular lights. So that will be the wire that I'm hooking up to. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and take the grill off uh, just because it was so easy and it, it gives you a lot easier access for fishing the wire. Um, I've run the wire back to each of the cube lights, run that back, run it up. Basically following this wire loom is where it's going to go until it gets back up into the cabin. And then it comes up right here by the battery. Got my connectors on there, ready to go. The black ground here will just go to the negative post on the battery. Those will connect lights will connect to their to their wire ends um, and then we'll button it all up zip tie all the lines out of the place and be ready to go all right so that's wired up uh, the ground literally just goes right on there there's a little loop with the wiring harness wire runs right down there in the battery tray right around here there's my harness all wrapped up nice and tight. Guys, make sure you're wrapping or heat shrinking or something just to keep the water and dust out of your, your connections. The extra wires right now are just tucked down in there. Those are gonna be hooked up to something else here shortly, but for now, they're just tucked down there. No problems, they're, uh, they're still uh, shrink wrapped as well. So anyway, the top part is wired up and ready to go. Now it's just a matter of buttoning up or tidying up uh, the rest of the harness underneath and, and where it's gonna run and get those lights plugged in. Got the wiring all buttoned up. It's all run down using the Jeeper's favorite tool, best friend, wire ties. Uh, what I did was I just followed 
the same line as the harness for the factory fogs, um, which runs right up in there. Zip tied to it, followed it on down. Um, so it, I know it's away from my heat sources. It's one of the things to keep in mind, guys, as you're as you're running these, don't run them anywhere near you, anything hot like your radiator, you know, things like that. Because the last thing you want to do is deal with burned lines. But um, that was a nice thing there. Just following that, I knew it was a safe route. Um, so just zip tied all the way through. Everything is uh, hooked up, buttoned up, tied down, ready to go. So let's see if they work. So I wired them up to the uh, the fourth button here, button four. So. We're going to uh, get the power going. Get that. Okay, we got light there, so hopefully that's a good sign. I see light here. So there we go. They're wired up and ready to go. Now, one thing I have read, and I haven't messed with it yet, is that these buttons are programmable. So if you want them to come on when your ignition is off, you can do that or just when your ignition is on, you can do that. And then you can also make it just a, a uh, one press type deal where you press it and hold it for the lights and then it doesn't stay on or the clicked like it is right now where it's on or off. So you can do it like a momentary on type deal, which would be great maybe for some accessories. So everything's working guys. Hope that video um, helped these, uh, these switches if you've got them, which they are an option in, in most models. Um, they're awesome, man. Spend the money to get that option if you're ordering your Jeep because uh, they sure make life easy. All I had to do was hook up two wires. You saw the negative post to the battery and then the uh, the power wire to that uh, blue or purple wire under the hood. Super easy. See you next time, guys.